Towards the end of last year, chainsaws cleared a dense patch of trees in Sangod on the edges of Molem National Park to make way for a power substation. The cutting was done as part of Tanmar project owned by the Vedanta company Sterlite meant to bring a 400 kV line into Goa. It was an early indication to locals of what was to come. Tell us what is your objection to these trees being cut because the government can turn around and say we are building this substation, we have got the permission, so what's wrong? Uh, yeah, so let, let me uh, uh, give a little bit of background actually. So I grew up uh, uh, adjacent to this area where I live is uh, just uh, 500 meter from this uh, region. Mm. So the first thing is uh, as a villager or uh, as a nearby uh, living person, we didn't had any information about uh, cutting these trees a priori. Okay. So uh, just one fine day we just uh, came here and find out uh, this, this, is, this, is, uh, uh, this, this much land is uh, mm. cut and uh, to be precise uh, the figure is around 1,72,000 uh, square meter area. Oh. The trees have been felled during the lockdown period. Okay, how many trees? Have uh, been felled, approximately yeah. 2,600 trees have been felled. A power line already passes through the park. Now a new bigger one might be on the way. Government documents accessed by NDTV claim the new power line will cater to Goa's growing demands. But once again, the government's explanations are being challenged. Julia, what do you make of the argument that the government is giving that this power line is needed because Goa needs that extra power? Well, uh, the Power Minister Nilesh Kabral has gone on record last year mm. that the state receives 1000 megawatts out of which we have 400 megawatt surplus. Okay. So when we have 400 megawatt surplus and government of India is signatory to climate change and sustainable energy, we don't see the need for bringing so much of power in Goa. Our yearly requirements are about 4 to 6 percent in a year mm. and that could be uh, that could be availed by putting up uh, sustainable energy in the form of uh, solar power stations. As protests mounted after the trees were found cut, work has stopped for now. There seems to be a kind of uh, stoppage of work here. Yes. W has work stopped here now? Yes, work has stopped because there was a petition filed by Goa Foundation hmm. and it is in court. So at the moment, Tamnar, which is this company, yes, private company, which is doing the power project. Correct. The, the work has stopped now? Work has stopped from 1st of December. I see. Uh, from uh, from uh, November last, sorry. From last, from last yeah. November. Now it's important to remember that of all the projects that have brought Goans onto the streets, where we are is the only site where there actually has been the cutting of trees. And this is a site at the edge of the Molem forest range. And here we can see around us thousands of trees that have been cut by the authorities that are lying here on the side. This forest area has been cleared and this is to make place for an electricity substation. That's part of an attempt to expand the power lines, the power capacity that's coming into Goa. And it is this, it is these images, this impact which activists fear will be the fate of the forest if all the other projects are allowed to go ahead.